In this video, we'll teach you how to construct a big data analytic using ArcGIS Analytics for IoT. If you followed the previous lessons, you learned how to create a feed in a real-time analytic using maritime shipping data. In this tutorial, we'll use a different data set containing event data on motor vehicle collisions from the New York City Open Data site. We'll configure an analytic to assess patterns in motor vehicle accidents involving bicyclists over a multiple year period. A big data analytic loads a set of stored observations, processes them, and writes out the results to one or more destinations. You can create a big data analytic from either the main page or the big data analytic list page. The first step in designing a big data analytic is configuring the input data source. Analytics for IoT allows you to bring in static tabular or vector data sources for analysis. You can select a feature layer from your ArcGIS content or organization, bring in data sets from cloud data stores, or reach out to third-party APIs. For this tutorial, we'll access a copy of this motor vehicle data that's been hosted on Amazon S3. On the Connection Properties step, enter the access information provided in the Big Data Analytic Quick Lesson in the Analytics for IoT product documentation. For access mode, choose Public, and enter the S3 bucket name A for IoT Public. For region, use US West Oregon. The folder path to this data is at nyc-motor-vehicle-collisions, and the data set is nypd-motor-vehicle-collisions.csv. From here, the data source configuration process mimics the process for creating a feed. Analytics for IoT queries the data source, obtains a few sample records or features, and derives the schema. As before, you can adjust incoming field names here, make correction to field types, or drop fields that you don't need. For this tutorial, you really only need the following fields, so you can leave the rest of the fields off if you prefer. Next, you'll identify the key properties in the data source. For location type, choose XY fields, and the latitude and longitude should be automatically populated. For spatial reference, enter 4326 and select WJS 1984 from the results. For does your data have date fields, you can choose no. Datetime information isn't needed for this analysis. And for track ID, you can select that the data does not have a track ID. A track ID associates multiple observations with an overall entity, but the motorcycle collisions are discrete point-in-time events that don't really have a track ID. Press complete to finalize this data source and the analytic editor will open. As with the real-time analytic tutorial, go ahead and immediately create the analytic to save your work. You'll want to give the analytic a meaningful name, such as NYC Cyclist Accidents, and optionally a summary. With the new analytic created, we'll add some tools to perform the big data analysis on the NYC Cyclist Accident data. As a reminder, with Analytics for IoT, you configure analysis pipelines in which the output of one step is the input to the next. First, we'll create a new field called Total Cyclist Casualties, which adds together the number of cyclists that were injured and the number that were killed for any motor vehicle accident. Click the Manage Data folder and choose the Calculate Field tool. Leave the option for New Field and name the new field Total Cyclist Casualties. For field type, select Integer. Next, click the pencil icon to open and configure an arcade expression for the field. Arcade is a portable, lightweight, and secure expression language for the ArcGIS platform. Analytics for IoT leverages Arcade for both field calculations and filter expressions. In the expression pane, enter an expression to add the number of injured cyclists to the number of cyclists killed in the accident. You can do this by clicking on the available attributes. Click OK to dismiss the expression builder, and click the plus button to finalize this new field calculation. Finally, click Apply to commit your configuration on the Calculate Fields tool. Next, we'll filter the New York City motor vehicle collision data for the accidents that resulted in one of these two types of events. Click the Manage Data folder and choose the Filter by Expression tool. Click the pencil icon to open the Arcade Expression window again, and in the Expression pane, enter this expression to filter for where the total casualty number is greater than zero, and also where the feature latitude is greater than zero. In this dataset, there's records with invalid coordinates, and these records can be identified by filtering records to keep only records where the latitude is greater than zero. Click OK to return to the Filter by Expression tool configuration, and click Apply to commit the tool's changes. Thirdly, we'll add another tool that will aggregate these points spatially in order to represent the number of accidents involving cyclist injury or death. Click the Summarize Data folder and select the Aggregate Points tool. 
For bin type, choose hexagon. For bin size, enter 250 meters. And under advanced options, you'll set a summary field statistic. For the attribute, choose the total cyclist casualties field that you created. For statistic, choose sum. And you can leave the default field name of total cyclist casualties underscore sum. Click the plus button to finalize this statistic and click apply to apply the tool settings. With the data source and a pipeline of analytic tools configured, we'll complete the analytic with an output that will allow you to visualize the results of the big data analysis in a web map. Click the add output button at the bottom and in the ArcGIS category, browse to feature layer new. For data storage method, choose add new features. This means you want to add all the results to the output. You would use keep latest if you were working with track based data and you only wanted to retain the most recent observation for any track in the output. For each time the analytic is run, choose replace existing features and schema. When this is chosen, each time the big data analytic runs, the features and schema in the output feature layer will be overwritten. This is useful when you're developing an analysis process and you're adding, removing, or changing tools between runs. Alternatively, the Keep Existing Features and Schema option can be useful if you wanted to append additional records each time the big data analytic is run. Notice with these two settings that the data retention options are hidden. A data retention policy isn't necessary if you're always replacing output features since the data set's not likely to grow indefinitely over time. Click Next to proceed to the next step. For the feature layer name, use something descriptive like New York City Cyclist Accident Aggregation, and optionally, you can put in a summary as well. Click Complete to save the new output. On the top of the Analytics for IoT application, click Save to save the analytic with all of these changes. At this point, you've successfully configured an entire big data analytic. This analytic will load 1.5 million records from the delimited text file on Amazon S3, process these event records through a variety of tools, and write the output to a new feature layer. On the top of the Analytics for IoT application, click Start. Notice that the Start button transitions to Initializing. When it transitions to Stop, that means the analytic has started and is currently running. When a big data analytic is running, you can continue working in Analytics for IoT, creating other analytics, or viewing the results of other jobs. The status of your big data analytic is available on the list page for monitoring. When the analytic status says stopped, your analytic has been completed and you can view your results. On the side menu, click Layers under Output to open the Layers page. Next to the New York City Cyclist Accident Aggregation Feature Layer, click the globe icon to open the feature layer in a map viewer. You may want to change the base map to the dark gray canvas map for easier visualization. On the new layer, click the Change Style button, and for the Choose an Attribute to Show step, choose Total Cyclist Casualties Sum, which is the field that you calculated and are now summarizing in this aggregation. For the Drawing Style step, choose Counts and Amounts Color, and choose Options. For the symbols, you can change the color ramp to something that you prefer, such as an orange to dark red color ramp. And one useful way to visualize this data is to use classify data and set the classification method to standard deviation with a class size of one standard deviation. You can now more easily visualize the patterns and accidents that resulted in cyclist casualties. With this kind of information, transportation planners can make more informed decisions on where new bicycle infrastructure can have the greatest impact. This concludes our tutorial on designing a big data analytic and summarizing large volumes of observational data. From here, you can experiment with different tools or explore creating scheduled big data analytics that periodically analyze a data set that's changing over time. Thanks for watching.